We fear for our families. We fear for our country. The words of Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, he spoke to reporters a short time ago. Take a listen. I think if someone is not afraid to lose their life or the lives of their children, then I think that's not a healthy person. So if you're sending somebody to war, as is happening in that other country, and you're not thinking that these people may die, and you're not afraid, you don't have any emotion, you don't feel any emotion about this, I don't think that's normal. So as any uh, living being, I, am, I fear for the lives of my family. I asked for a no-fly zone. I asked President Biden and Scholz and Macron, Macron uh, I think, uh, because I, I don't remember, because I have 20, 23 international phone calls every day. Every day I do this. And I said, if you can't, if you can't provide a no-fly zone right now, then tell us when. If you can't give Ukrainians a date, when, how long do you need? How many people should be blown up? How many arms and legs and heads? How many should be severed? So that you understand, so that you understand, I will go and I'll count them and we will wait until we have a, a, a sufficient number. But if you can't even give us a date, that's what's happened with the sanctions. I asked for preventive sanctions before the war. You will see, they will not advance. Give us a full package of sanctions. I asked all the leaders for this. You know the response. Thank God they've done it now. And thank God the whole world can see this act, that this is working. I ask for this support. And right now I'm asking for a no-fly zone. And if you don't have the strength, to provide a no-fly zone, then give me planes. Would that not be fair?